Hi everyone, it's the Tiny Crafter and we are here continuing decorating the pages of the Naked Junk Journal mainly from packing material. So, I do believe it's been a while, <laughs> we'll admit that. We got to the halfway point, so we've the middle pages. I'm just thinking, don't some stamping. I think I'm going to wait on that because I think I might make something to go in there. So on the back of this, I was going to put this as a tuck spot just because it fits quite nicely. I think I will. But what I think I will do is try and punch that corner. Oh, did that just fly at you? So this is just one of those postcards from the Royal Horticultural Society that I found a couple too. So I'm going to use a thin one just because this is so thick. And if it's a duck spot, you only want to do two sides. Did I just hit you there? Sorry. I'm so excited to be getting back on with this. It's been a while for me. I've been waiting on other stuff. Because that thing happened where I decided to reorganise my craft space. And then I was like, ooh! Let's make something with that. Ooh, let's make something with that. <laughs> I think I again want to stamp on this. I didn't get my stamps out. Oh, actually, you know what I found when I was reorganising the craft space? Some vellum stickers. That might look quite good on the pocket. Ooh. Oh no, they're not venom stickers, it's just venom. Ooh, I'm gonna do that like that. That was unexpected. I've glued my blue books together. <laughs> okay, the writing goes that way. So that is the reverse. And again, I'm trying to remember to be in frame. I do know I drift a lot. And that looks cute. And we stenciled that the last time. Now I do want to make something to go on here just to try and keep these pages together. So I was thinking to try and make a bit of a pocket out of this. Whoops! Okay, so I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the page out. That's what we were doing last time. Ooh, look. And there's a pocket on the corresponding page. Let's make it like a little envelope. Did you hear that just rip on the other side there? bulky. So what else do we have? We have this. This is just one of those end beefs out of a book. is absolutely shocking. Have you seen one state of that? Hmm. 
No, I'm not feeling that either. Maybe we're just going to leave that page blank for a bit. I'm just not feeling it. Okay. That's a thing with a naked journal. You want to do lots, then you don't want to do too much. And, oh. I'm all over the place with it. Okay, I think I want something on me. What about this? Yes. So there is that old I cut out. I don't think they're just so pretty on me. I'm sorry if you can hear a lot of noise outside, but it's hot in here. I do have to open the window. There's a lot of traffic. A lot of vans. I've noticed a lot of people are getting work done on their houses. Must be a summer thing. Maybe it's because nobody's going on holiday this year. So they're spending their money on the house. Tissue or a dry wet wipe. Very pretty. I think I want to want to put a correspondent. I think I do. I think I do. I think I want them to matchy matchy. Okay, so. Gosh, this chain is so big. <laughs> I need to trim this down a bit. And let's straighten the edges up. I remember I get these little bits. Because I don't want them getting caught in the ribbon. I love using the die cut negatives. so pretty even on their own okay this page I think I'll leave blank for now I'll leave that blank for now so I'm gonna go in there okay this page I have an idea for and this <laughs> Thanks to Eva at Bohemian Crafting. Hold on, I'll just put my lid on my glue stick there. So I will link the video down below. And she basically made a spinner for her journal. I need something like this. Let's just lift this down. Okay, now let's see if I can remember how to do this. 
Well, obviously, I can remember how to rip it, but I don't. <laughs> wanted to cut a circle through this piece of paper and this piece of paper and the reason we need two pieces of paper hang on it went that way didn't it <laughs> yeah the folds aren't that tight and the reason I need is it hold on am I gonna have to rewind this video definitely went that way. Okay. There. There. And the reason I need two bits of paper is to hide some string. So to cut this out, I'm actually Oh. oh my goodness, that was too much hard work. I'm going to bring in some washi just so we can get everything lined up. And then I lose the end of the washi. So we're going to put it like that. And then hopefully that will work. Okay, time for the big reveal. -y. Top it off. Rub this with your fingers, you can get that excess washy off. Okay, so that will be stuck over there like that. But first, we need to make our spinning element, and you want something, I don't know, no matter which way you put it. It'll be the same in the reverse as the front, so that's why I've opted for this flower. So, we need something to dump it on. Let's go for some gold. First of all, let's take our stamps on that one. I think I'll do it in black rather than brown. Just didn't know where I'd put it. So if we line that up again, bring in some tape. Oh, well, having a die is going to make it much easier to make sure it's evenly cut out. Okay, that is weird. That die didn't fully cut it out. Why? <laughs> no, I did not die. I fully cut it out. I'm going to have to go around 
Oh no, you know what's going to happen. I'm going to lose those inner petals. I could have it just like that, I suppose. I'm just wondering if that gold's going to be lost on my page. On the corresponding page though. So it goes in like so, like so, like so. But then it's quite subtle. Do we want subtle? Or oh, we're thinking maybe something that stands out like the green. But I love the texture of this gold. How does it look through the camera? No, I think I'm going to stick with it. Okay. So. Let's just do this again. <laughs> I also cut one out of some green papery cardstock. Just to give a bit extra stability. So let's just stick that to one of those. Oh, maybe I should have done two. I think maybe I should have done two. Yeah. <laughs> because I've just realised. Oh no! No, I don't need to do two. Okay. So next step is we need to attach some sort of string or ribbon and I've just gone with this you probably recognize it you know when you get those um, packs of gift tags and you have to put your own strings on the really cheap ones <laughs> that's all that is so I'm going to use the three and the one for this and I think I will first start stick it to the one with the cardboard if I can get the three and one glue out And then just approximate your length. And then game with the three and one. Just because I want to make sure everything sticks together nicely. Try and line this up. And I don't mind if there's a bit of green showing. Okay, so that is our spinner element. See, once you wee, and then we want to find approximately the center of our circle, and I'm just going to put some glue up here and down here and if the string's a little bit long at the top that is fine do you need to come down the snooch though anyway okay and then we take our second piece of paper and this is really just to hide those strings there and there. So I'm just going to put some more three and one over the strings. And I think I will just use PVA for the rest of the rest. Okay, now. Oh, I should wait for that to dry before I demonstrate. <laughs> if you wind it up. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Wee! <laughs> One so, let's wind it up a bit more. I'm, just, I'm worried about the glue. Okay, are we ready? Are we ready? 
Ich weiß nicht, wie ich es hier ankomme. Ui! Well, anyway, it's something I wanted to try and I tried it. Okay, I don't know at what point my camera stopped record normally goes dot dot and tells us it didn't. So I don't know what all that's about. So we're just making a little cluster for the top of this page. Some fabric, piece of page and just some stitched I glued that on the wrong side, didn't I? And now it just looks like snail trails, so we'll have to go with that. <laughs> okay, okay. So now we need to decorate this envelope on both sides. So let's pull this out. Excuse me, I just pulled it. Hmm. So do we want something that goes across it or do we want something in two sections? I'm thinking two sections. I'm thinking we need something dark. Mm. Mm, do I want to? No, I think I want him to go straight. I don't want to rip it. Okay, I think I want to run this through an embossing folder. I love this, but I found it doesn't really emboss. So I think maybe we'll go with this one. Oh, isn't that pretty? Let's put the page back in. I think I want to round the corners of it. to bring in some Nouveau embellishment mousse. Add metallic dimension details to your craft project. It says to use cloth. I'll use my finger. It works just as well and it saves on a cloth. So I'm just going to rub over this called burnishing? I don't know if this is called burnishing. Everything that is raised. Now I don't know if I'm going to do the stems. I am currently just doing the flowers. So I did just do the flowers and the little leaf bit. I just feel like if I did all of it, it would be too much. So let's stick that down. Then if I change your mind, I can always go back in with some more. What else does it need? It needs something else, I know that much. But I don't know what. Ooh, what about a butterfly? I have the gorgeous butterflies. Oh, 
And then that could be like a tuck spot in itself. Could it not? Okay. What do we want to make that out of? Oh, what about that red copper paper? Just to go with that. That might be cute. But I also think I'm going to cut it out with some black card as well. If it's going to be a tuck spot, it's going to need some stability. So I've just die cut that out of the paper and the card. And I don't know if I want to emboss that as well. I think it might be too much. Let's just stick that down like that. Oh, but you know what I could do? You know what I could do? We could cut the word dream out. I just had a black spot card. Yes. That makes me happy. Just thought we could use that for a flying with spinner. <laughs> okay. This side. Ooh. Ah, it's one of my sticky labels. thinking what am I thinking that behind that I either want to stamp or emboss in that and stamp or emboss that I think let's firstly put this down and stick it around that No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to do. Firstly, let's cut this down the size. Where is our envelope? Now I think I'm going to emboss this. We need another embossing folder. Yes, <laughs> I think I did the opposite of embossing. Embossed? <laughs> in other words, I put it in the folder the wrong way around. Okay. Oh no, that one smushed a bit. Well, I don't like that. Let's discard that. Maybe I do just want it left clean. I don't know, you see, I just don't know. Should I just leave it clean? Mm. 
And I can use those leaves for something else. Okie dokie. Oh, My next question is Do we want to do anything here? I feel like I need something on the. I feel like it's something from here. something like that. I mean it doesn't hide it completely but it just covers it up a bit. So I think I'm just gonna put it there like that. Let me just make this. It either draws too much attention to it or makes it less obvious. I haven't decided yet. Side cover. We've got a pocket here. I think I will make something to go in there. Oh, I forgot as well. We've got these pockets up here. I think something might be made to go into one of those too. Cluster, collage, thingy be bobby. Got our stitching here. A little die cut here. A little cluster here. Stitching, stitching, a little die cut negative here, a little cluster, another die cut, the word dream. I wonder if these pages might need some stenciling. That's what I'm currently thinking. I love this, but it still has that on it. A little pocket. I might put something over that. Not decided yet. Another pocket with stenciling. I do feel like that needs something more. Maybe a bit of this, like something behind just to differentiate between those two. I haven't decided that. Love that little cluster. Nothing here, nothing here. Double pocket. Chuck spot. Nothing here. A little piece of vellum. Again, does that need something like that? It might do. Nothing, nothing. Ooh, there's a lot of nothings. And nothing, and nothing. I might put. Where is that? But then it covers up. I might do another one of these here. Might, I haven't decided. Oh, but then that's there. 
definitely need something. Our spinner. Whee. Little cluster lay. Our envelope here. We'll put a little top spot lay. And decorated day in our back cage. So I think I'm going to leave it there today because I don't know if you can hear there's workmen in the street and they're getting very loud and it's going to start, well, I already had to restart a section of this because the dogs started barking. So we will revisit this where we add, I think we're going to add a little bit more and then we'll bind it and then we'll think about putting some, a couple of bits of ephemera in it, not too much, just, just enough. I'm the Kenny Crafter. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.